Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It's been a little bit of a while since we have caught up, so that's exactly what I wanted to do today. The autumn uh, season is one of my most favourite times throughout the year. I absolutely love the fall season and anything that goes, I absolutely love it. So anything to do with pumpkins, whether it be baking, whether it be... I know it sounds really, really cheesy, but pumpkin spice lattes, everything about it, I absolutely love. I even love just taking a walk in autumn that just take a moment to just take in all the changes of the scenery, the changes of colours. If you get to go out and have a little bit of adventure in the car and just even just how the trees change, the weather's starting to get a bit of a chill about it. And of course, those preparations for the back end of the year for the Christmas season. For some people, it's far too early, but for me, as a lot of people will know, that all starts late summer, actually. So for me, I really love how the autumn autumn season kind of just changes everything and it almost starts to just start to mirror all of those lovely things which start to come up towards the end of the year. And it's just really happy, really positive and almost just kind of warm and fuzzy feeling, I suppose. So autumn for me, I absolutely love, but this autumn has been quite stressful. I have to admit my family this year have been through a lot of things. Now, thankfully we have come through it. And as I say to anybody in this life that we all go through many storms and they do pass. And that's the one thing to hold on to it, that whatever we're going through today will pass. It might not pass right away, but you will get through it. And you do surprise yourself how strong, how tenacious you are, and just how incredible you are. Remember, as I always say, that there's one of you in this world, so just that fact alone makes you amazing. So unfortunately, I've not been too well actually either. I've had a real nasty cold for a good couple of weeks, and unfortunately, anybody who knows, if you have that on top of a, an ear condition and a balance condition, it just makes things a little bit more nasty, a little bit more grim. So I've had that to deal with contending, and on top of the other things which I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, it has been a little bit stressful, and work's been quite stressful lately as well. So I haven't been able to enjoy uh, the last couple of weeks, which I always try to, to face life with such a very overly positive look almost. So that's been a little bit tough, but I'm back in top form now and I'm really ready to uh, celebrate the last couple of days of autumn, um, October, sorry, which I absolutely love. And then as we move into November, my preparations for Christmas really do ramp up. I do my own Thanksgiving dinner for my family, uh, which I'm really looking forward to this year. But now, of course, that's not hasten ahead, we are in October, which I absolutely love. Uh, every year, we've not done it yet, um, my second eldest brother, we always get together and we make pumpkin pie. So that's going to be coming up shortly. I'm really looking forward to doing that as well. I absolutely love doing that, love baking and all of those great things. So that's really nice. And hopefully I'll be doing something with my niece. Usually, I usually do some baking, some cakes and things like that with her as well, which is really, very lovely. And uh, and she's one of her twins. So they have their big birthday coming up. They're 13 and that's in November. So another great thing coming up as well. Then I've got my youngest niece who actually yesterday evening, I went to a pumpkin patch with with her and her, her father, which is my twin brother, and uh, his uh, partner, fiance. And it was a really lovely evening. And do you know what? It was like something out of a Channel 5 uh, Christmas film, but of course, based around the fall season and autumn. It was absolutely lovely. And I've never been anywhere like that before. So it was really, really it was really just nice just to be able to just have a wander around, seeing all the pumpkin patches, the fields, and just seeing the scenery and how it was all set up, which was absolutely beautiful. And as I said, I've not seen anything like that. And I didn't think where I live in this part of the world that there was many places like that. So it was really lovely to see, really eye-catching and just a whole, just a really am amazing evening. I really did enjoy it. So I urge anybody uh, in the last couple of days of October, if there is still pumpkin patches and things like that around you, to get out there and see them because they are truly incredible. And it's just a really lovely lovely vibe. Everybody was really happy yesterday evening. Um, everybody, there was so much laughter and just people were generally enjoying themselves. And I do find after a year where there seems to be so much violence and so many horrible things going on in the world, especially with all the wars we hear, it's really nice just to enjoy a nice evening or a nice day out and just to see other people and other families enjoying themselves too, rather than all the hatred and the, the horror we hear in this world today. Um, it really is just really nice and heartwarming to, to see that there is still good in this world and that there are people having lovely times and people uh, respecting one another and just being courteous and considerate to others as well. And it was really nice to see that people were really um, 
because I have quite a bad walk at the moment with some problems with my groin and my leg. And people were really courteous and really quite helpful and really friendly and smiley. So it was really refreshing to, and it really made me feel on top of the world as well. Because I think anybody who knows, if you have those type of problems and you walk into a situation, all of a sudden you can feel almost at a disadvantage that you're not going to quite enjoy it like everybody else because are things accommodating for you or, or is the setup going to be suitable for you? And it really, really was. So it was great. So as I say, the best way I could explain it was like something out of a Channel 5 Christmas slash autumn uh, film with pumpkins absolutely everywhere. And I've never seen so many variations of pumpkins. So it really was really, really cool, I have to admit. Now, my twin brother is a chef, so he was absolutely in his element with all the seasonal produce of autumn, which we both are really good with food. He has an art and a talent with it. Um, so it was really, really great to see him and he was in his element. I mean, who gets excited about pumpkins and squashes and things? And I know we do, but how he does was just simply quite incredible. So this uh, this month in October has been really quite amazing. It has been. And yes, okay, I've had a few bouts of not feeling so great, but my father's birthday is on the 5th of October. So we really got to have a really nice time and it was really lovely. And we celebrated his birthday exactly how my dad wanted to. And it was really lovely. And we seen the family and my father was uh, spoiled with lots of lovely gifts. And that was really very nice as well. And then a couple of weeks later, it's my uh, eldest brother's birthday. So that was really very nice. And we went out for lunch. We'd done some shopping and we celebrated his birthday. And again, we seen all the family too, which was very nice indeed. I've been busy when I can uh, with my Christmas preparations. As I say, that starts in late summer. Um, my mum and I, we do loads together. And my father, it, my parents are very much best friends to me. They really, really are. So today, which was really, really lovely, I went out with them and we had lunch and I would say it was almost like a garden center, but it wasn't almost like a, uh, a bit of everything. One of those um, sort of centers which have home and garden and sort of interior design and craft and a lovely, beautiful restaurant and everything. So that was really very nice. Um, and the Christmas displays were absolutely incredible. So we bought um, some really lovely things for Christmas there. Um, my parents go there quite often. Um, the latest thing was a beautiful uh, sort of outdoor furniture set, which um, we have enjoyed when we have in the weather this summer, which has been really, very nice. And my mum is planning to do that with her entertaining around the winter uh, time for Christmas as well, uh, especially on Christmas Eve, because mum hosts Christmas Eve, I believe, this year as well, which is lovely where the family come together. So that's going to be absolutely spectacular. My mum has already got her food orders and preparations in for that too. So that's going to be really lovely. Um, but today was just lovely. And as I say, it's, it's such a busy... Uh, life and such a, a busy family um, I'm present in and everybody always doing something and mum's usually always busy with sorting somebody out or helping somebody and my dad's busy with work um, so it was really lovely just to take the time and just have a bit of a laugh have a joke put the world to rights and just uh, in their company have lunch and we done some shopping and uh, it was lovely so thoroughly enjoyed it it was all done up uh, for autumn as well there was actually some christmas uh, sort of music and things which i thought myself on the 29th of october was a little bit early but it really was enjoyable and it did feel quite sort of i'm not going to say christmasy autumnal warm fuzzy type feeling it was it was really nice and it wasn't that warm i hate it usually in october when it's it's warm and you and you like to put sort of like all your, your warm warmer sort of clothes on and start to wrap up a little bit and i hate that when you go out and do anything in october and it's hot and you could usually actually probably walk around in a t-shirt so i love to be dressed up a little bit more not for winter but autumnal so it was really very nice and uh, and that was really really great so going forward what's happening so for me work has been ramping up so i work in finance and accountancy and i absolutely love my job um, but it has been super super busy I've been helping support my team um, so that's been really really great and I've got some busy things going through some people if you know the kind of financial schedule throughout the year um, the role I work in I can't really discuss it unfortunately because the nature of it but it is really great it's really um testing challenging but there is no better feeling that on a Friday when I finish for work and I can think Do you know what you accomplish that and you, you climb that hypothetical mountain. I never, when I look at something and I'm never going to think that I'm going to achieve it. And actually when I do master it, when I do achieve it, and on a Friday I can switch the computer off and I can just enjoy things uh, and really kind of root the reward of those feelings inside that I got through that challenge. I mastered that challenge. It's just amazing. So quite a lot has happened actually, which has been great. So for me, I work from home. So actually last week, uh, the first time I actually went in the office since last December. So I've had a lot Lot of problems with my uh, walking unfortunately the last couple of months with at the start of the year some ill health I had um, some seizure events 
I'm not they they were never confirmed as 100% seizures, um, but they were horrible nasty events which I had some nasty falls with. So on top of the groin surgeries I had through hernias uh, several years ago now, um, I had quite a lot of problems walking. And I do unfortunately have my good days and my bad days. So I had my latest appointment to set. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything else they could do for me, but it was unfortunately results from having had the surgeries, which was successful. But I went on to develop some some nervous system issues. So I'm doing my exercises every day to strengthen my leg and to strengthen my walking. So it's really great to be able to get out with family and have a laugh and a joke. I love spending time with my parents, having lunch with them really made me feel on top of the world. Last night with my niece and uh, my brother and his fiance, which we had a real laugh and a joke. And, um, and usually at the weekends I see my sister and all my brother, which is nice. They always put a smile on my face. They really, really do. And I see my niece, not so much my nephew. Um, because he's very much into his gamings and things and yeah, doesn't really find the time. <laughs> but um, it's, it's, it is, it, as I say, family is a blessing. And sometimes, do you know what, we all have our ups and downs. And I would probably say that I will be very honest that some days um, I'm quite soft hearted. And I don't think that's anything to be ashamed of at all. I think that we should embrace who we are and we shouldn't shy away from our feelings. And if something's made us feel quite nasty and quite grim, then we should talk about it. And I do feel sometimes that with everything going on, um, this has been a really stressful uh, season so far. So I'm really looking forward to the last couple of days of autumn, having a great Halloween, seeing the kids dress up, um, seeing their costumes. And uh, I really love doing that. My niece, um, my niece and nephew, my other niece last year, done that. And I dressed up last year as well, which was really, really great. Um, this year, I'm probably not going to do that, to be quite honest with you. And I'll tell you the reason why. So I usually spend absolutely pounds on a Halloween costume. And I'm usually the only one in my family. So <laughs> I think there's other ways I can enjoy it. Um, um, we've got the house all dressed up for uh, autumnal decorations, sort of those oranges, those, uh, you know, sort of the harvest festival sort of themes so that type of thing so um really lovely with the pumpkins and sort of the reefs and everything for autumnal uh season which is lovely so we've got a few last touches to do which is really really great i love halloween um anybody who knows me knows that i love halloween and this back end of the year i absolutely love as well into a little bit of a secret i really do hope that one day i'm blessed to meet <laughs> um uh to have all of those wonderful things, which of course most people desire. So to have their family of their own, to have that beautiful home and to meet, uh, I'd love to meet a beautiful wife and I'd love to have an autumn uh, wedding. I really, really love that. Could you imagine that kind of theme with all of those colors and all of the lovely things which go of autumn? I'd absolutely love that. So um, yeah, that would be a dream of mine. So there we go. I left a little bit of a snippet more of an information that I intended. Um, but yeah, going forward. So everything is good. Everything is great i've enjoyed so far i'm really glad that i've seen the back end I haven't been feeling too great so i'm really glad to see the back end of that for, for fingers crossed for quite a long time going forward hopefully there won't be anything else at me back now um to all my subscribers i hope that you're doing really really well what's coming up on the channel so we have done quite a lot of reviews on the aveda uh Invati uh new system which i have absolutely loved so that was the ultra advanced so we looked at those products for optimizing hair growth looking after this hair site uh, hair growth cycle and the scalp environment we've got a couple of products coming forward which i'm going to be reviewing which i've been exploring within the background going forward we're also going to be doing some motivational speaking because when you have been through i always i love to use my channel as that platform to be able to if i go through something pretty nasty pretty grim or what knocks me down when i get back up because it's truly truly important please remember everybody who's watching this it's not how you fall down it's how you get back up and i'll say it again we've already said it but just remember if you're going through anything it will pass my friend and there is only one of you in this world and just that fact alone makes you absolutely incredible so start there you are an absolute blessing you might not see it with what you're going through right now but you really really are and there is light in the darkest of times so hopefully that just gives you a little bit of a lift so there's going to be some motivational uh, speaking from me coming forward um, and just hoping to kind of support people um, unfortunately it's been quite a stressful October uh, somebody very very dear to me is going through um, how can I put this let's talk about mental health um, just for a second um, which a lot of people do not give it 
the time which we all should because it can affect any one of us um and that's been affecting somebody very very close to me very very dear to me um so i've been really supporting that person and it's been tough we've been through some difficult things um but we are making our way through it uh, together and we are going to get through that together um so i'm really really pleased to report that that family member of mine is doing well um and they are making huge progress and uh they are going to get there um so the reason why i it, of course that person's privacy i don't want to right now it may well be something we even we bring to the channel in the future but I think that it's just so, so important just to recognise that actually just because somebody says they're okay or somebody smiles, if that constant communication, whether it be friends, whether it be family, loved ones, whatever you want to call it, just check in with people. And if something seems slightly out of character for whatever reason, just perhaps approach it with open questions. So if somebody randomly out of the blue asks to do something with you and you think that's a little bit odd but yet you've got loads on always just make time for that person you never ever know what they're dealing with you never ever know what that person's going through and at the end of the day you could be that savior that saving grace for how that person is feeling i always say in this life that it's hard enough to treat people how you would want to be treated so even if you don't know the person if you're walking along the street never ever judge never ever make assumptions because you never ever know what somebody is going through. So if that's another message which you could take away from this catch up today, then please, please, please never make assumptions. Never ever judge. Never, never, never say things un, untoward and just kind of never be malicious. And I know sometimes there's some nasty things which happen in this world. A lot of people might think, well, I would just storm right in and I'd sort it out this way. Or I'd sort it out that way. But just think if something is out of character for an individual or if something is very sort of different for this person then just sometimes think and maybe just question why and can you help at the end of the day it doesn't have to cost anything sometimes your time can be the greatest gift of all for anyone in this world so we're going to be bringing up a few sort of aspects of that on the channel coming forward and of course then as we go into november we'll be covering some reviews uh some support some motivational speaking clips from me and then of course as we approach the holiday season christmas in that magical time of year we're going to be doing a few things uh for that and some great clips for that as well and you never know you may catch me singing so yeah just on that point as well so i recently done just as a bit of a light-hearted sort of moment a bit of a joke nothing ever serious when it comes to singing i'm not blessed i'm not gifted with a singing voice or anything like that at all but i certainly do enjoy it and i was quite surprised with some of the comments some positive but some really quite nasty and really uncalled of uncalled for um why do you know what i mean why when you come across somebody's channel you're not forced to watch it so let's just respect one another let's be positive i would never ever be nasty in my whole entire life to anybody i'd only ever wish to help somebody and i would never ever pass comments like that at all so do you know what if you don't like it, you know, that's absolutely fine. There will be people who won't like my channel, and that is not a problem. Everybody is entitled to their view. But perhaps when we think these things, it would be kinder, I think, if we just kept them to ourselves. Um, and at the end of the day, let's support one another. Let's talk to one another. Um, life's hard enough for a lot of people. Nobody ever knows what's going on in somebody's head, so I'm not going to judge. Um, and if I can help people, and if I could have been the pin cushion for how somebody was feeling, then fantastic. So on that note, thanks very much for joining me, and I absolutely love autumn, and I hope you do too, and I hope it's been a really great and enjoyable one for you so far. Um, as I said, it's been stressful, but it certainly has been enjoyable. There's been ups and downs, but isn't that always in life? On that note, take great care, God bless, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye now.